right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be talking about lab tests and how to properly read a lab test. For most of you out there, you want to make sure the product you're getting is uh, what you're expecting and what you want it to be. And being able to look over the different lab results and know what you're looking at is really going to help you understand uh, that you're getting the right product. So uh, we're going to run through a few different things in terms of the, uh, the cannabinoids, the terpenes, the the, the, the solvents and the pesticides, those are going to be the main things most people want to know. So I'm going to uh, hop onto my computer here and I'll pull up a couple tests to go over with you guys and show you how that goes. Alright guys, so this is the first one that we are looking at here. Um, and this is one of our lab results from one of our products at Dow Zen. Um, as you can see, it's a thousand milligram product. It's got all the CBD that you want. Here you see the THC contents below the legal limit of 0.3. Um, and then as you can see, it's got um, the different levels of cannabinoids that it's testing for. Now, one thing that I want to encourage is this is a testing result for a single bottle and it's going to be very hard to detect the uh, smaller amounts of things like CBN, CBG, and CBC. And these testing results are okay just to make sure the product is under that legal limit. But what's more important is actually looking at the testing results for the oil that was used to make this product. So I'm going to pop over there and open that one up. Okay, so that is this one here. So as you can see, the oil that went into that product was 75% CBD, and then it did in fact have CBD, CBG, CBN, uh, and CBC as well, the, all those other minor cannabinoids that are that are so important to have that entourage effect. So um, anytime you're picking a product, I would make sure you look at a single bottle uh, result there to make sure it's under the legal limit for you to consume or distribute. And also just uh, look at the, the raw oil one to make sure that uh, it is in fact um, a full spectrum because uh, as we talked about, that's, that's really going to be your ideal product is that full spectrum product. Now, the other couple things we're going to look at here are going to be things like the solvents and pesticides and terpenes. So this here is the terpene results again for our product. As you can see, um, we've got a bunch of different terpenes and you know a couple dozen. When you look at some of the products out there, it's they call it a broad spectrum and they've taken an isolate and then they've added one or two terpenes back in just for flavor. But again, when you're looking for that full entourage effect, you want to make sure that you have a variety of those terpenes in your product to make sure that it has the stuff that you want it to have. Okay, and next up we'll pop over to the solvents. Okay, so this is actually, this is a solvent from a product that um, somebody had sent us some samples of. We didn't wind up going with it because when you look at the solvents and you see here that pentane showed up as within, it was within their, their, their range of testing and this is not something that we wanted because we did not want a product that had any uh, solvents used in the extraction. This is confusing to a lot of people because most people, they've heard of propane, they've heard of butane, but then when you start looking at all of these other um, extraction processes out there that people maybe aren't aware of, you start seeing things like pentane, hexane, benzene, and we wanted to keep our product as clean as possible. That's why we use the extraction methods that we use with the supercritical CO2 to avoid having any of these residual solvents. So it's always good to look at the solvents for your product. And then pesticides. Pesticides is going to be big because those pesticides, it's something that you want to make sure, especially if you're somebody who prefers a product that's organic. And a lot of the stuff out there is, but you can never be too sure because uh, hemp is a plant that pulls everything up out of the soil. So even if the current growers are growing organic, if somebody before them was not growing organic, that hemp is going to pull it up. This is a result from um, our product. As you can see, it's it's coming up negative for all of these pesticides that it was tested for. I think we've got about 100 on here. So that's what you really want to look at there. Okay, guys, so that's it. That is uh, our 101 on lab test result reading. If you do have questions, uh, just send us an email or uh, shoot us a message back here. Give us a call, and we'd be happy to help you out with that. Uh, we will see you again tomorrow with our next video. Thanks for tuning in.